Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Marta and I'm so happy to have you here. I have another super, super easy and quick look for beginners. This look is perfect if you have hooded eyes or small eyes and you want to make them look bigger. And I do explain it step by step so it can be easier for you to recreate. I hope this video is helpful. Before we get started, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you won't miss any of my videos. And give this video a big thumbs up, please, if you like this this look. Now let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to clean the bottom of my eyebrows using the Rimmel Stay Matte Concealer and the Real Techniques Detailer Brush. You can use a concealer that's like one or two shades lighter than your skin tone. That's going to help for the eyeshadows to really stand out. I'm also going to apply this concealer as a primer for my eyeshadows. You want to blend it out really nice so the eyeshadows can apply and blend out nice. I'm blending it out with the LA Girl sponge. You can also use your finger to blend it out. Using a light shade as a primer for the eyeshadows is going to help for the uh, pigmentation to stand out and look really nice. Then you're going to want to set the concealer. I'm going to use the Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder and a fluffy brush. This one's from Profusion. You want to do it first in tapping motion so the concealer doesn't move. And then you swipe away any excess powder. But this is going to help, help especially if you're a beginner, to blend out the eyeshadows a lot fast, faster and better. And it's a lot easier, especially if you're going to apply dark eyeshadows. I highly recommend for you to set the concealer. And it has to look all even on your eyelid all the way up to your brow bone. That way the eyeshadow shadows you apply the tones can also look even and not like certain areas darker than others oh and you can also set the concealer with translucent powder or an eyeshadow that's the same shade as your skin tone or the concealer that you applied but it does have to be a matte eyeshadow Today I'm going to be using the LA Girl Born Exclusive Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going to grab this eyeshadow right here using this little brush from Rimmel. It's the brush that has a little sponge on the other side. And you want to use a small brush for this right here because I'm going to apply it above my crease and that's Pretty important if you want your eyes to look a little bit bigger or if you have hooded eyes, if you apply it right on your crease, you won't be able to really notice it. So you can apply it a little bit higher than your crease. And you can see that I'm not applying a lot of pressure. I did not start with a lot of product on the brush. And this palette does have pretty good pigmentation, but I just didn't grab a lot of product because I'm kind of tracing out where I want the eyeshadow to be. And as you can see, I'm applying it with my eye open, like I'm looking up. Because like I said, I want the eyeshadow to be above my crease so it really helps if I do it like this so if you have hooded eyes or very small eyes you should try applying it this way and like I said use a small brush and you can see that I'm applying it as a rainbow from corner to corner you don't want the eyeshadow to go past your outer corner just stop right on the corner right there and I'm gonna keep blending it out and adding more eyeshadow because I obviously want these, this eyeshadow to be a lot deeper another thing that helps me a lot when I'm blending out eyeshadows is I stretch out the eyelid I just lift up my eyebrow a little bit and I can see that the eyeshadow is not that well blended out but this is really going to help so the eyeshadow can blend out a lot faster and easier and you can see the areas that you need to that needs a little bit more blending I'm also going to apply this eyeshadow on my lower lash line. First, I apply it as close to the lash line as I can. And for this part, you also want to use a small brush. And you don't want to start with a lot of the product, especially if you're using dark eyeshadows. Because you don't want to blend it too low. Because then it's going to look like you have dark circles or something. So start with a small brush and just a little bit of product on the brush. And you can slowly keep adding layers of the eyeshadow if you want the eyeshadow to look darker so I'm just going to apply all over my lower lash, li lash line and then don't forget to connect the eyeshadow with the eyeshadow from the bottom with the eyeshadow from the top right on the outer corner 
Now I'm going to grab this eyeshadow right here. I'm going to use the other side of the little brush with this little sponge right here. You can also use a flat brush. And you can also grab your pressed powder because it's pretty much the same thing. And this is just so the eyelid can look a little bit lighter. It doesn't really make that big of a difference, but this will also help to blend out the eyeshadow right above your crease right there. It's just going to look a lot smoother. And this is an important step if you have hooded eyes. You don't, you don't want to make your eyelid look dark, so it helps if you put a very light eyeshadow whether it's matte or shimmery just apply it on your eyelid because if you put a dark eyeshadow it's gonna make your eye look so small so this is something that really helps and then I'm also going to wear uh, apply a beige eyeliner you can use beige or white or just any light shade on your waterline this will also help to open up your eyes a little bit and if you apply a dark eyeliner on your waterline this will make your eye look very tiny the eyelashes that you want to wear are ones that aren't so dramatic or full on the inner corner because you don't want to cover a lot of your eyelid. And by the way, this look also looks so nice with just your natural lashes. Just curl your lashes and apply mascara and it'll look so nice. Now for the mascara, I'm going to be applying the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara to my lower lashes. I don't want to put a lot of it. Just enough so you can be able to see my eyelashes. And last but not least, I'm going to apply this shimmery eyeshadow to my inner corner. You can apply a shimmery eyeshadow or highlight on the inner corner. This purple looks so nice. This just adds a little nice glow to the look. And that's the final step to complete this look. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And I really hope this video helped you. Especially if you're looking for something for hooded eyes or small eyes. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think. And please share this video and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you guys so much for your love and your support. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye!